what is this? Probably a question you've asked yourself if you've used React or tried using React Native recently. I'm going to go over the flex pattern and hopefully that will make sense of the whole unidirectional flow that React uses in the applications and hopefully you won't be having to do the what is this face when building React applications. Looking at the documentation, you may be asking yourself, can I just use HTML or another JavaScript library to build my application? The answer is of course yes, you can use whatever you want, but if you're wanting your application to be dynamic, you should use React. If you've looked into React before, you probably come across tutorials on how to build a chat application or a simple to-do list. In these particular tutorials, they are showcasing how React is able to re-render simple components when updates are coming in or status changes are happening instead of having to refresh the entire page. This is one of the benefits of using React and their data flow structure which is called Flux. So the three main things that create a Flux application are the dispatcher, the stores, and the views. The dispatcher you can think of as an action distributor. It manages the data flow in a Flux application. It's a central hub for all the data. It is a registry of callbacks that has no actual intelligence of its own. Our method calls the dispatch method, which will broadcast the action payload to all of its registered callbacks. This action can then be acted upon within stores and then result in a state update, which would then render a, a different view. The next part are the action and the action creators, which are collections of methods that are called within the views or any other part of the application to send actions to the dispatcher. Actions are the actual payload that are delivered via the dispatcher. The next big part is the views, and more specifically, the controller views that are just React components that listen to change and retrieve application state from the stores. They then pass that data down to their child component via props. So, basically, the, the unidirectional flow of data is you have your API, which is then going to send an action method, which calls the action constant via update, create, add, delete, and the action data, so the data payload. From there, the dispatcher will receive this event. It can dispatch differently based upon the source via the API or the view. The dispatcher dispatches the action constant and data to all registered callbacks. If a store has a callback registered with the dispatcher, it will receive the dispatched event and the data. The logic inside the store acts on action constant and the data and then emits the change event. The view gets changed event and updates itself and its child views. The views call action, creators, and the process repeats. So you can kind of see from there how the unidirectional data flow is for a Flux application. Thank you so much for watching. Now go out and build something using React. If you need a little help getting started, make sure to check out the link to my GitHub below.